Polinice che il tiranno infuriato aveva gettato ai cani e dagli uccelli. Entrambi caduti in battaglia, ma l'uno da eroe e l'altro colpito mentre fuggiva, non da mano nemica, ma dai suoi. In the long war, our brother Antiochus died for us. One of the many who died young in the time of service. But our other brother, Polynices, was even younger than he when he saw his brother trampled to death under the heels of the war horse. In tears, he fled the unfinished battle. For others, another decision is made. By the spirit of battle, with a strong blow, with his right, he unnerves his hand. Now, the fugitive lurches forward, breathing a sigh of relief at the sight of Thebes, his seven gated city, when he is suddenly seen. By blood spattered Priam, standing behind them, lashing them all into his battle, and he is slaughtered. Ah! 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 Have they told you? Or haven't they told you? For the latest insult to be heaped on Oedipus' dwindling children. I haven't been to the market, Antigone. I've heard no news of our loved ones, loving words nor sad words, and I'm not happier and I'm not sadder. Then hear the news from me and tell me if your broken heart beats faster or stands still together your great dust. It seems you tame me blood red words. Here it is! Our two brothers, both dragged into Creon's war for the gray iron ore of Argos, and both killed, are not both to be buried in the earth. Of course, the fearless hero of the battlefields Eteocles is to be honored and buried according to custom, but the other, Polynices, who died in disgrace, it is now said of his body, and it has been made known in the city that no one is to honor him or mourn him. He is to be left unmourned and unburied, a sweet meal for the vultures. And he who does something about it is to be stoned to death. Well, tell me, sister, 
What are you going to do about it? What are you doing, sister? Testing me? Yes. To see if you'll help me. In what danger? To bury him. He who betrayed the city. He who the city betrayed. He who caused the revolt. Yes. My brother. And yours. Sister. They'll catch you defenseless. But they won't catch me faithless. Poor thing, what drives you to drive the last of Oedipus' children down to destruction? Forget the past. Because you're younger, you've seen less horror. When you forget the past, the past returns. Think of it this way, we're women. We haven't the strength to fight against men, so we're obedient in this, and in some things even harder. I ask the dead and the oppressed to forgive me. When force is used against me, I obey the authorities. What's the sense of committing useless actions? Ma non siete convincere la sorella a compiere l'atto proibito sul corpo del fratello oltraggiato e straziato. I won't ask you again, go. Don't follow someone who gives orders. And do as you are ordered. As for me, I am following the custom and burying my brother. And if I die for it, so what? I have left something holy behind me. I'll rest in peace among the peaceful. I prefer to make friends with the dead because they will be with me forever. As for you, laugh at shame. And live! Antigone, bitterly hard as it is to live in this grave, till the salt tears stop. Yes. They don't flow from yes. the eyes forever. The executioner's axe puts an end to life's sweetness. But for the survivor, it opens the slow veins of pain. He can't stop screaming. He can't even stop screaming. He hears the first blue green about him and sees through the curtain of tears the familiar elves that loop up the hall. I hate you! Oh, shamelessly, you show me the tattered apron of your sentimentality. Right now, on the naked stones, the flesh of your flesh is laid out under the wide sky for the vultures. And for you, it was yesterday. No, I'm not good enough to offer myself up as sacrifice, nor willful enough. And I'm afraid for you. Don't give me advice. Live your life. But let me at least do what I can to honor those among us who have been shamed. I hope I'm not so particular that I couldn't bear to die an unbeautiful death. Go gather your dust. What you say is wrong. But said in love, and I love you. Oh. che la vittoria aveva coronato la lunga guerra gli anziani di fede vinsero le corone della vittoria 
intrecciate con le luci dei porie del velonoso aloro che confonde la mente e rende incerto il passo. di ritorno dalla battaglia venne il tirano e li trovò adunati nel grigio dell'alba Gentlemen, tell the world, Argos has fallen! Yes! The was troubled! Yes! A few escaped from the eleven cities! Only yes! the fewest! Yes! Instead of thieves, the whole of always doubles! Misfortune! <laughs> On our bloodthirsty weapons was quenched by the first taste of blood. But we did not deny them repeated refreshment. On a rough resting place, thieves, you have laid down the men of Argos. Without a city, without a grave, out in the open lies that which defied you. Look up there! Where their city once stood, there you'll see gods with shining faces. The great vultures settle down. But the meal was so rich that the overstuffed birds couldn't rise from the ground. E subito l'incoronaron da loro. Whoa, you paint a pretty picture of great power. Whoa, and the city will love it. When you deliver it, whoa, and you cleverly add 
One more thing, the wagon, the drive through the streets full of homecoming soldiers, homecoming soldiers, homecoming soldiers, homecoming soldiers, homecoming soldiers. To business. You see, I called you together for two reasons. First, because I know you will not count the costs when it comes to oiling the wheels of the man mangling war machine any more than you would deny the blood of your sons to battle. When they return, exhausted to the comforts of home. There's too much counting in the markets. Therefore, give me your quick assurance that the casualty lists of thieves do not exceed the customary expectations. And further, because the people of Thebes, now that the danger is over, come here to wipe sweat of the homecoming hero without asking if it's the sweat of the fever of battle or only the cold sweat of fear mixed with the dust of desertion therefore I have very and I ask you to approve it. Antiochus, who died for the state with honors and laurels. But the corpse of Polonikes, his brother, shall lie unburied as there, as there lies here. He was oh, the enemy, my enemy, and therefore I want no mourning. I want him to be devoured as a meal by dogs and vultures. I have no respect for the man who values human life more than his country. But he who serves my state, dead or alive, I'll praise him either way. I hope you approve it. We approve it! Hear! Hear him run, no tragedy, but to feel you, dear deep. Ei per aterrere il popolo, minaccio un bagno di sangue per tutti i nemici dentro le case di Tebe. Ma ecco, giunge un messo che annuncia, il terrore non ha atterrito, il corpo straziato è stato sepolto. But break me to this, we must do more. The state must be planned. Ah! I got here as fast as I could, out of breath, to bring the message swiftly to our leader. What is this breathlessness? Or are you hesitating? I'm not hiding anything. I said to myself, why not say it right out? And I don't know anything. I don't even know who did it to you. Tell me your news and get out of here. I'll tell you my news. Just now, someone buried the body, sprinkled dust over the body, so that the vultures can see him! Ah! <laughs> oh! What dare undertake him? I know! There was no mark of a spade, no sign of a use of a shovel, and the smooth ground showed no wheel marks. No sign of the culprit. Wasn't the real grave. Just some soft dust as if breaking the law didn't take much. But there were no animal tracks. No dog had come to tear and devour. But the first light of day showed us struck as and holy. And the lot fell to me to bring the message swiftly to our leader. And the nobody loved to bear our bad news. Oh, Creon, son of Menokeo. Tira 
e tutti gli altri. I know. There are some in the city who hold certain things against me and complain that they will not bow to my will. I know about it. They do it with bribes and presents. The old things graven. There's nothing of evil in silver. It corrupts whole states. It lures men from their homes to practice every kind of godless evil. But I tell you, if you don't deliver the person, I'll say this alive and in human form, bound to a board and delivered, you will be hanged. And there's a hell with a rope around your neck. How rewards are won. Stop plundering each other and realize that not all things are made for profit. Sir, a man in my position has a lot to be afraid of being just a nobody whom you threaten. I'm not afraid of being accused of accepting bribes. What I'm really afraid of is that this investigation will get me the reward of rope around my neck. More often the hands of the powerful provide my time with rope than with silver, as you well know. People asking me riddles, you transparent fool. The barrels of high rank and must have high rank in friends. Then go for their ankles if you can't reach any higher. I know there are troublemakers everywhere. There are several who shudder to hear of my victory. And place the laurel wreath with fear and trembling. I'll find them out. It's an unhealthy spot when the hands of the mighty get into the hair of the mighty. I think I'm still here. I wonder why. Col capo chino, gli anziani meditano ora l'immane potere dell'uomo. Il mare doma con la figlia, e i tori col gioco, e col morso i cavalli. Ma un mostro diviene a se stesso quando assoggetta l'uomo.
For he who finds no enemy becomes his own enemy. As though he were an ox, he yokes the neck of his neighbor. But his neighbor tears it off. His neighbor tears it off. If he advances, steps across the bodies of his own people. He can't fill his own stomach. He can't fill his own stomach. But he fills the wall around his property. But he fills the wall around his property. And the wall it must be torn. Oh, I'm tempted by heaven not to admit that I know her. Isn't she? A demon, a child of an unfortunate father, and if this child was brings you to this place as a criminal under the law of the state. Quando tu avessi condotta, interrogata, perché avessi infranto la legge guardò d'intorno e vide gli anziani e li vide atterriti e disse loro questo è un esempio sì. which was putrefying already. And we sat on a hill where there was air because the smell of the dead man was strong. And we agreed that if we got sleepy, we'd wake each other with a poke of the elbows. We opened our eyes when a sudden warm wind lifted the mist from the ground and whirled it along the fringe of the forest tearing the hair from the woods into the valley, killing the air with fog. Suddenly we had to break yes, that was it, and rub our eyes. It was then that we saw her standing there, crying out in a sharp voice like a bird that mourns when it sees the empty nest without young ones. She wailed because she saw the dead man naked, and she spread dust over the body out of the iron jug. Three times she sprinkled dust over the body. And we ran and held her, and she did not resist. And we accused her of these present things which we have witnessed. But she denied nothing, and was gentle towards me, and sad at the same time. 
do you admit or do you deny that you did? I say that I did it, and I don't deny it. Are you aware of what was announced in the open city about this particular court? I know it. How could I help it? It was clear enough. And yet you dared to break my law. Just because it was your law. A human law. And that's why a human being may break it. And I'm just as human as you. Only slightly more mortal. And if I die before my time, it may be because it has certain advantages. When you've lived the way I have, surrounded by evil, isn't there a certain advantage in death? And further, if I had let my mother's dead son lie unburied, that would have made me unhappy. But does not make me unhappy. And if I seem crazy to you, because I fear the judgment of heaven, which hates the bare sight of mangled bodies, and I don't fear your judgment, then let a crazy judge judge me. Tough child of a tough father. She has <laughs> learned how to be cautious. In spite of our family ties, I will be slow to condemn her because of our family ties. Now tell me, since you did it in secret and now it's out in the open, wouldn't you say to avoid severe punishment that you're sorry you did it? Stubborn. To set an example. Doesn't it matter that I have you in my hands? What more can you do to me now that you have me than to kill me? Nothing more. But having this, I have all. Well, what are you waiting for? I don't like what you're saying. And I'm not going to like what you're going to say. And I know you don't like me either. Though there are those who do. Because of what I did. Then you think there are others who see things as you do. They see it too. And they are moved by it. Oh, aren't you ashamed to quote them without asking? But there's nothing wrong in honoring my brother. Wasn't there a war? Yes, your war. Not the country's. A strange country. It wasn't enough for you to run for the brothers in their own city. Oh, how beautiful peace was then when we lived under the trees in peace and unafraid. But you! Poiché se che intervenissero ma gli anziani 
guardavano solo creonti e se Antigone chi cerca potere beve acqua salata e non può contenersi e ancora dovrà berne d'altro io non sono il primo né l'ultimo sacrificio ma si spostarono da lei gritò Antigone guai a voi ma I will appeal to you for if you help me in my trouble it will help you later the man who's at your power is like a man who drinks salt water he can't hold it down but he has to have more yesterday it was my brother today Too late. Too late. Too late. And you take it. And you let him shut you up. It will be remembered. Chi vorresti discordi? Le grida il tiranno. Ma se discorde, la città cadrà in mano straniera. Così voi potenti minacciate, disse Antigone. E noi, noi ci pieghiamo e resa debole e schiava la città cade in mano straniera. Si corva la schiena, vede solo la terra e la terra lo avrà. C'è sempre un dissension that what she wants under the thieving rope. You who cry for unity live by conflict. I live by conflict here and on the Argyle's battlefield. That's right. That's how it is. Anyone who uses violence against his enemy will turn and use violence against his own people. Anyone who uses violence against his enemy will turn and use violence against his own people. Chiunque? Chiunque usi violenza. Chi? Chi usa violenza? Chiunque? Chiunque? Chi? Chiunque usi violenza contro il suo nemico. Si rivolgerà! Si rivolgerà e userà violenza! Si rivolgerà e userà violenza contro la sua propria gente. Yeah! And what it means for our conflict to be devoured by the enemy. Always the men in power threaten us with the fall of the state. It will fall by dissension devoured by the enemy. And so we give in to you and we give you our power and we bow down. And thus we can the city falls devoured by the enemy. Are you accusing me of throwing the city away to be devoured by the enemy? The city threw herself away when she bowed down before you. Because when you bow down, you only see the earth. And oh, 
she will get you. And is an ordeal, but my country is not only the earth, the place where I can't hold my head up, can't call itself my country. Giuria la patria, dice il tiranno, sappi insolente che ti ha rinegata. Disse a Figoni, chi mi rinega? Per me non è patria là dove corva la schiena. Ahimè, pochi sono rimasti ormai qui in città da quando tu regni. I giovani, gli uomini, non tornano più. Oppure partiste con molti, ed ora da solo ritorni. Sta qui il tiranno e non seppe dalle risposta. Burn your country, no longer claims you as its own. Suffer you out like a linking fist that dirties all its patches. Who throws me out? There are less in the cities than you roll in, and there will be still less. You left with many. Why do you come alone? Who's missing? The youngsters. The men. Aren't they coming back? Oh, how she lies. Everyone knows they stayed behind only to clear the battlefield of the last weapons. You do your last mischief and become a horror. Till their own fathers would know them when my beasts of prey they're finally killed. She's insulting the dead. Stupid you are. Ah, le gridano gli anziani. Non sai dalle vittorie ottenute? Poiché è la mia nemica, dice il tiranno. Essa non vuol riconoscere questa vittoria. Dice Antigone, meglio sarebbe più sicuro essere ora nelle nostre case distrutte che con te nelle case nemiche. Ostili la guardano gli anziani e si stringono attorno a Creonte. Pity her, don't hold her words against her. But you in your raving, don't let your tragedy make you disparage the glorious victory. But she doesn't want the people of Thebes to live in the houses of Argos. She would rather see Thebes destroyed. We would sink more safely in the ruins of our own houses than with you in the enemy's city. You'll see as far as your nose, but you don't see the state's divine order. It may well be divine, but I would rather it were human. Creon, son of Menachael. Get out. You were always our enemy, and even in hell you shall be so. You shall be hated even in hell. Who knows what the customs are down there? The enemy, even when dead does not become a friend. Of course he does. I don't live to hate, but to love. And go to hell if you want to love and love down there. Under my rule, your kind don't live long. Uscì di casa allora la sorella Ismene e disse sono io che lo faccio, ma Antigone disse sta mentendo. 
e tergendo il sudore creonte disse decidete tra di voi but now too late. he's made a come too late the sweet one too late. who is for peace too late. my face is washed with tears and flashed with pain too late, too late. Ah! yes go home get all oh, i've brought up two monsters a pair of snakes Come out with it. Did you take part of the grave, or are you innocent? I did it. If my sister will accept me, I did it too. And I accept my guilt. My dear, in Tenerita, prego la sorella a vivere. È sufficiente, io credo, che qui perisca io sola. But your sister won't let you. She didn't want to. I didn't take her with me. Fight it out. I don't think her of a small thing. I'm not ashamed of my sister's misfortune. And I'm asking her to accept me as a complice. I don't like those who love with words alone. Sister, not everyone is good enough for sacrifice. But even I am good enough for death. Don't die to us, frankly. Don't meddle in things that are none of your business. My death is enough. I love you. If she is gone, what would I have to love? There's Creon. Love him. Be him. I'm leaving you. Does it amuse my sister to make fun of me? Maybe it hurts too. And the cup of my pain runneth over. Is it because you did it without me that you can die without me? Be of good cheer and live. I have a dead soul, sister. I'm only of use to the dead. These women, I tell you, they're all alike. One of them loses her mind and the other one follows. But I can't live without her. I'm talking about her. She doesn't exist. But you're killing your own son's right. There's more than one field for a man to plow. Get ready to die. Comanda il tiranno. Quando in tebe festosa comincia la danza del pacifico bacco, scenderà nella tomba. La morta vivente. And so that you'll know exactly when it's going to happen. When Thieves, drunk with joy, invites me to the dance of buckle. Get rid of these women. E la condussero via. Colei che aveva osato fronteggiare il tiranno. Servili gli anziani porgono la maschera di bacco al re, intonando, tu che velato apri la danza della gloria, non calpestare troppo forte il suono, e dove è verde, possa colui che ti offende lodare la tua vittoria. When you dress up for the victory dances, don't stand too hard on the ground, and not where it grows green. May he who has troubled you, mighty one, praise you. Don't drive him down to me, that he lies out of sight. For in that direction, he lies on the ground. Make it to confront you. He is resigned to his shame. Hideous and horrified. Abandoned to his loss, dehumanized, he remembers his earlier farm and rises and is new. Let's go.
brothers uh, like me uh, sat in their fire gutted house rotting away day and their brain by weaving and the ice throws them over each winter and their women did not leave their at night but furtively sat around all day in their skull and clothes and always the threatening clip beckoned to them <coughs> <coughs> But not until Pelias came, dividing them with his scepter, parting them, touching them ever so lightly. Could they rise up? <coughs> 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 per annunciare il fermento nella città per la sorte della figlia di Dipo. Son, there's a rumor you've come to speak of that woman, not to your ruler, but to your father. And if that son you've come for nothing, she busies herself with only one thing, and that one rotten. Nevertheless, I come to you about this thing and hope that my father will not listen with anger when it is his son's voice that must bring bad news to the ruler. Calto, il padre accenna alla prova imminente con una crudele durezza. Ma il figlio non lo comprende. The people are afraid of your name. Therefore, when big fires burn, you get small messages. <coughs> Listen! <coughs> there is deep dissatisfaction in the city. Yeah! Listen! 
when my flesh and blood turn to rotten. It nourishes my enemies when there are low faults and the government seems divided. Waivers. Then the stone can start rolling. One complains of taxes. Another wants to end conscription. But I keep them both separated and in my power because I have the weapon. Speak. But I'll listen only to him whom I brought up, my son, to whom I taught the strength of the spear. She who didn't want the merciless dogs to devour her brother. The city is with her in this, although they condemn dead man's crime. That isn't enough. Now I call that weakness. No, the filth that I've cut off is not enough. It must be done in public, so other filth will see how I cut off the filthy, and that my hand does not miss its mark. But you, knowing nothing, knowing little of the case, you advise me. Watch your step. Look for alternatives. Talk to them in their own terms, as if authority could sway the many bodied masses to difficult deeds by being nothing but a small, cowardly ear. But the gentle uses of order can do much. There are many orders. But who gives the orders? Even if I were not your son, I'd say you do. Are you my friend, no matter how I do it? I want you to do it so that I can be your friend. Look, when the rain-swollen brook gushes past the trees, how all those that bend are spared, but the unyielding are broken. Or when a laden ship spreads her sails and won't slacken, bending back from the rower's bench, how it must end in, in shipwreck. But of all that's just, wherever I see it, wherever there's a hole in it, I'd call that stupid if it wasn't my father that said it. I'd call that fresh if it wasn't a woman's slave that said it. Better her slave than yours. Now it's up. We can't be retracted. And it won't be. You will say everything and hear nothing. Ma quando non cedeva. Creonte lo schernisce, agitando sul viso del figlio, la paglierina criniera della maschera. That's how it is! Now get out of my sight, quickly! And I'll get away, so that you need not look at a man who is not afraid. It makes you tremble. Il figlio lo lascio. 
inquieti gli anziani guardavano. Sir, he who went out angry is your youngest son. But he won't rescue those women from death. You mean you kill them both? No. Not the one who stayed away. <laughs> You're right. And the other one, how will you kill her? Lead her out of the city. Where now the dancers of Bacchus are lifting the feet of my people. Put her guilt away. Where there are no people to see her. Put her alive into a cave in the cliff. dead as though she were buried those are my orders so that in the end my city shall not bring me shame cupo il vincitore si accinse alla festa allarmati gli anziani ascoltano la musica che giunge alla città si formano i cerchi della danza di Bacco. Oh, oh, oh. E questa è l'ora in cui la figlia di Edipo nella sua stanza ode Bacco in lontananza, mentre si appresta al suo oh. ultimo viaggio. Poiché gli ora chiama i suoi, e la città, assecata di piacere, dà al pacifico Dio la sua gioiosa risposta. Oh. Grande e gialla vittoria, e irresistibile è Bacco. Quando agli uomini in pena dona il liquore d'oblio, gettano via le vesti cucite per il lutto dei figli e accorrono tutti a sposarsi nell'orgia di Paco. Oh, my 
myself losing the rhythm. And I, I can't hold back the welling of tears. But now Antigone comes to receive the gifts of death, the wine and the millet. Men of my city, look at me take my last step. And my last look at the daylight. And never again. He begs us all alike. But God is dead. He is leading me alive to the harbor of his river. No wedding for me. For me, no wedding song. I am the bride of Acheron. But your going is famous. Raise it to with you. But you going to be that chamber. Now in this consumed cue. Nor were you the victim of hard labor for hard wages. You would not accept such wages. against power. You can't expect pity. Violence never accounts for its motive. Credi, lei lamentano gli anziani che da sola ha scelto l'impresa e la morte. Mi sei antigone. Vi volate di me. Seguendo la mente la sua sorte. Oh, my father. calice e la brocca e il miglio funebri donne e per consolarla le nominano le idee e gli eroi che da nobili e grande sono morti the body of Danai too had to endure the iron gate instead of the light of heaven she lay in the dark prison Though she too came of a mighty race child, she counted the strokes of the golden hours for the creator of time. And I've heard how pitifully a Phrygian girl, Titanus' daughter, died in the tower of Sisyphus, and men say that winter was always with her, and that her throat was washed by the snow-bright tears of her eyelids. It may be that I, like her, go to a sanctified bed. Her speech is holy, but then she is witness to holiness. And we, who are of this world, are witness to worldliness. Yes. You perish 
but greatness is yours, and not unlike holy sacrifice. crying out against the injustice of Dionysus. And with stones, they stoned him to death. And he got to know God in his madness with his shrieking voice. And it would be better, too, if you gathered together the outcries against injustice and cried them with tears and did something useful with them. You don't look far enough. But on the chalky cliff, the war god watched. Still Phineas, who saw all too far. Had their eagle eyes pierced through with spears. And it was stark in their brave eyes. Circle! For the, the power, power of faith is frightful. Neither riches nor valor feeds him. Nor towers is hated. Manel contemplare l'altrui. Scorda la sua debolezza. Care attendete, grida, i prede ricolmi e i fiori verranno, ma a prendere prede. O oh, viventi, grida, voi ora compiango, e il pianto, la soffoca l'ira, poi guarda d'intorno. E contempla Tebe la matta, e solenne si inchina la città a prendere congedo, e di nuovo la pena si tramuta in ira da te, patria. Sono nate le mostre, e per questo dovrai diventare povere e cenere. Ancele dice, se qualcuno vi chiederà di Antigone, direte, si rifugiò nella tomba. I beg you, don't talk about hate. I know all about that. Her escape to her grave. 
e poi si voltò e andò con passo leggero e sicuro. Turned around and went with broad steps as if she led her guard. There she went with a victory column had already been erected. Then she went faster. Done it! In molti la guardano gli anziani e intonano il coro. Eppure anch'essa un giorno ha mangiato il saporito pane cotto dalle schiavi. E solo con la rovina di tutti i suoi inalzò la sua voce maledicente. But she too one day the prayer that was made by slaves in the dark cliff. She sat comfortably in the shade of the prison tower which shelter suffering. Till all who had left the deadly doors of Lacticus house re-entered dead. Her bloody hand yields out to each his own. And they don't just accept it. They grab it. Only thereafter she lay rebellious in her freedom. Thrust into the good. The cold awakened her. Not until the last of her patience was exhausted. The last cry measure. Would the child of blind adipus remove the customary blindfold from her eyes? And look at the abyss which surrounds her. <laughs> che una cupa sensazione si fa strada nella città pestante. Just as blindly now, they've licked it free. But only take the victory libation of highly spiced herbs, conducted in the darkness, and swallows it, and exalted comes to Rithias. Oh, let go! Rotten rumors of growing dissension. Too late! And the shimmering unrest below. Ed ora viene il reggente cieco. Ed uno in maschera beffandola gli salta intorno. E scrolla la pagherina criniera della maschera sopra il suo capo. E lo perseguita lungo tutta la piazza. E trionfo, e bro per la vittoria, muti gli anziani guardano. Always go gently, go steadily, and be untroubled by the dancers. You're leading. Leaders shouldn't follow, Bacchus. He who lifts his heels too high up the ground can't. And look out for the victory column. Victory! They scream in the city. And the city is full of cold. See the blind follow the sea. But the blind are followed by the blind. Why are you mumbling against the war, you reasonable fool? Because you are dead. Before you have won it, you unreasonable fool. Stubborn and sightless, you're a serious who's only one doesn't exist. You don't see the victory columns, the tower around us. Can't see them. And my reason's not twisted. That's why I'm here, dear friend. Stolto vecchio, non sempre amare le feste. Perché non hai anche tu la corona? Noi tutti l'abbiamo. E la voce è astro di collera. Uno più cieco segue me cieco, dice il veggente. Perché sate creonte che discordia e impietà non amano gli dèi. Orribili uccelli vedo volare, ci batti col corpo. Del figlio di Antipo! Terrible light celebration! That fire interrupted your terrible time! I have seen terrible things! Listen to the bird oracles and what they portend to feed! Already drunk with premature victory! 
and doubted by the groaning shouts of the Bacchus dancers. I sat in an ancient chair in a harbor full of birds, and I heard a murderous turbulence rise in the air above me, and there was a lashing fury of scratching claws as the birds bumped on each other. Frightened, I quickly tested the newly lit altars, but not in a single spot could I make a good flame. Only smoke waltzing tearfully skyward, and the thigh bones of the sacrificial ox jutting out of the pavement to cover it. But in the time for the day of victory, and news that killed joy. This is the deadly meaning of the sinister symbol. It is you, Creon, who caused the city's sickness because the altars and hearts are profaned by dogs and vultures who are satisfying themselves indecently on the body of Oedipus' fallen son. Therefore, the birds don't sing their song of good omen because they have eaten the flesh of a dead man. But the gods don't care for the taste of such smoke. Therefore, Soften your heart towards the dead man. <laughs> Stop your persecution of the dead! Reason, you So they may kill you, Kelly, see up high, you know. Wow, little woman. We love gentle. Fuo in durti ad una lieta visione. Your bird fly very nicely for you. But no. This I will not bury the cop, and I'm not afraid of heaven's wrath. But let's make the bargain. The prophet likes to profit from his prophecy in silver. Non dare argento a me, ti servirà per la guerra, dice il regente. Dice il tiranno, la guerra è finita. I don't want you to offer me any, because in wartime, no one knows what he'll keep, whether it's silver, or songs, or power. The war is over! Venita, chi è del vegente? Giù al porto, vado a seccare i pesci per l'esercito. Come se non tornasse in autunno. Crudele, mia pari. Perché? Quale follia hai commesso? Muto resta il tiranno e tace e non sa dargli risposta. Is it over? Is it? I'll ask you a question. Since according to you I know nothing, I'll have to ask. Since you tell me I can't see into the future. Well, I'll have to see into the present and into the past in order to stay within my heart and still remain a seer. Of course, I, I can only see what a child sees, that the victory columns have been stripped bare of metal. I say that's because they're still making spears. And there are many guards. But whether they guard much or little, I say no one knows. And that furs are being sown for the troops, as if autumn were coming. And that fish are being preserved, as if for winter rations. 
I thought that was before the victory battle. And it's now discontinued. Well, the booty come with metal now from Argos. There is much confusion in your house. And no amnesty is granted. It is customary after happy occasions. And it is said that your son Haman left you in anger. Behold, you bury Antigone in a cave. Behold, she tried to make a grave for her brother, Colonitis. Behold, he turned against you. Behold, your war killed his brother, Rotiates. That's how you cruelly bound up with cruelty. <laughs> and since I'm not silenced by silver, I'll have to... It's not enough metal for your war. What is it that you've done? Both mad and bad. But now you must... Compound both madness and badness. But I'll give my double answer. It is none. Mismanagement cries out for greatness and fine. None. War escalates, breaks its leg. Theft follows theft. Need breeds need. More means more. In the end, it's none. And so I have looked back. And I have looked around. And I have looked ahead. And Others, take me away from here. See you, Vicente, to be my Maria. To be the guardian of the ancient. The power of your force and speech are palare e demandano. Dunque, ne va la guerra, creante? Ed egli risponde, non bene. That angry man has said terrible things and left the more terrible things on death. And how goes your war, Creon, son of Menokius? I'll tell you, the dirty war that Argos started is not yet over and doesn't go too well. But my son, Megarius, still fights for me with the armored youth of thieves. But they are not expendable. Have you started something too big, son of Menokias? When I attacked Argos, who sent me? Our metal spears went out at your request. Some terrible things are sad. We closed our ears, hearing fear. And we shut our eyes. You're beginning to deal with us, but you deal with the enemy. Oh, horribly, you leave your double war. Your war. Your war. Your war. And Argos, it would be yours. Hey, Vera, Connie, and Ferro in Mano. 
per percuotere l'ingratitudine. Se per lei ha calcolato, e then I will call him back, and my eldest son, Nagarias, will bring them to you. Ancora in sospeso in aria, il nome di Megareo minaccioso, quando a me so compare, Are you threatening your own people? I want to discuss it with my son. No, no, no. No, Paula, I'm a breaker of bad news. Stop the hasty celebration of a victory announced too early. Your army and idols have fallen. In a new battle and a new retreat, your son Megarius is dead. <laughs> Ansante, descrivi la lotta e come l'esercito è sfinito dalla faticida guerra per il figlio di Tipo combatta con fiacca Ma il popolo d'Argo si batte furioso per la sua terra. He lies mangled on the hard ground of Argos. When you punish the retreat of Polynikis, and you yourself hurry back to Thebes, your eldest son immediately ordered us to advance into a new battle. <laughs> against the men of Arco. And so, the people of Arco fought with desperation. They were even fought, and the children fought, fought and bent, clothed without food, were filled with boiling water, and put down on us in the farm down to the top. Every house became a trench, and every house rolled off for weapon. But still your son drove a sparrow, and drove us farther into the city, which devastated now transformed itself into a grave. Among the ruins, we were separated from one another. Smoke from all the kinds, ships of fire, who caused our vision to flee the fire, seeking the enemy. We threw one another.
the younger!